welcome back we are going to get started today on uh, game changers um, build this is going to be his uh, his V2 and uh, we're going to get started with uh, busting this RC down so that'll be uh, the first step is to uh, to get out all the stuff that we're uh, we're not using so what I like to do first is get the zip ties out what we're gonna do get these wheels out of the way will be the first thing and uh, once that's out of the way we're gonna go ahead and take the support brace off this will go really quick Like I said, I'm trying to knock this out uh, all in one video. So I'm not going to explain it step by step. I have literally done this a ton. So now that that's out of my way, I'm not messing with any of these electronics. So we're going to get the steering off. the same one always fight with getting that out I make sure that the wheels are straight and that this is straight before I pop it off that way assembly I know the servos in the right spot so once I get to that point I'm not even going to disconnect the motor the third brake nothing's getting disconnected right here so and we're gonna lose this battery tray so the next step is to up on the two wheels definitely get rid of uh, the zip ties I literally just cut this out so the motor mount ones we have to heat up you just it's something you have to do with Arma if you don't you're gonna break bolts so there's three of them the ones that are three in a row those are the ones you want to heat up if you don't heat these three up most likely you're just gonna break them off so I'm gonna do that first because then it's easier and this is a brand new RC literally never been worked on so it's just something you have to do and then you're gonna bust these things loose by hand once you crack them then we can get out the power tools but they have to crack by hand if you don't do them by hand you could uh, bust them off or break the heads off so while they're still warm we're gonna want to get them out of there Arma is using less Loctite than they than they have in the past. They normally use a lot of Loctite, but lately it's been pre pretty good. Just don't even take a chance. Heat them up. Now these two are plastic, so you don't have to heat those up. Definitely don't heat them because you'll ruin them. Then we're going to grab our other drill bit. All these small screws got to come out. And this is the bit that always gives me a hard time. And all these screws are the same size. There is one short one, and that goes to the third brake light. Our third brake light, the handbrake. Should be the handbrake one right there and I believe that one is too these are for the ESC and receiver box I'm telling you this is gonna go really really fast 
I just want real time to show you how this comes apart. So that's the ESC. That whole motor mounts off, but we're not going to flip it yet because we still have the battery tray because we're flipping the mount. So we're going to get this battery tray unbolted as well. Since I know which ones need to come out, we're just going to continue on doing that. Because they're literally all the same screw. And two more. And I believe that's all of them for the battery tray. I don't think I've missed any. I could have, but I don't think so. So we're going to go ahead and flip it. There we go. Every electronic drive shaft and battery tray. Now the battery tray is connected right here. And you have to pop it out of this thing. So that's a battery tray we will not be using, but I have to cut it down. So now that it's like that, I'm going to throw pop the wheels back on so I have a roller. And we're going to get the chassis out of our way. I'm not going to tighten these wheels down, not yet. It makes it easier to roll this thing around than to drag it across my table. too far so I'm gonna get the car up out of my way because the next thing we're gonna do we are not using these uh, these at these drive axles we have some eight millimeter ones so now that I got this mess here what I need is I need the motor off of it and the pinion out of it so while it's like this, I'm going to go ahead and get the third brake, the third, I keep calling it third brake line, but we're going to get the third brake off this thing. So it's the two pins. And we're going to slide that off and your little brake's going to fall out. So now I'm going to get the motor out of the way. I need to get to this. Because we are going to put a spool in it. Now. I don't see any gear. He doesn't have gear for the pinion. So I'll look and see what I have. So this is coming off. Here's the spool. We don't need the spool. So now here, another place we have to add heat. You're going to heat the head and then we're going to heat the side of the bottom plate. I want to show you guys about this. Let me, uh, yeah. So right here on the bottom of this plate, the screws go through this top piece into this bottom piece. And because aluminum um, dissipates heat really good, we have to heat it here so that you get that glue nice and hot right there. And then we're going to rotate back up here to the head of the screw, right in the center of the screw you want the heat to transfer down that bolt once you've got some heat into that let's get back over here because it dissipates heat really well and then we're going to quickly bust this thing loose there's 
one. There's two. It just makes it to where you're not rounding out these heads. Don't even try taking these things out without heating them up. If you do, you end up rounding these heads of these screws. So when you go to make pinion adjustments and that kind of stuff, a couple of times, these uh, bolts will be no good and you'll have to replace them. Can't tell you how many, how many of these things we've already had to replace. So now I got the motor mount off. So this is going to go this way. He does have a pinion gear in here. It's just, I think the wrong, no, that's the right gear because we're using the TP. So here's the limitless full. I'll go ahead and get that put in here. Once that's in there, we're going to go ahead and drop this back in. Making sure that this is seated correctly. Making sure to crisscross. I don't hold it tight. Because I don't want to uh, strip it. So now we got our assembly in here. As you see. Spins nice and straight. That's what I like about Armas. So now we need to get this gear off and uh, we need to uh, take the motor mount off normally. But luckily I have motor mounts. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. At least I think that's the right one. I'm going to double check it just to make sure that it slips in there properly. There we go. So, now I need these two bolts. Normally. But I'm going to leave that on there like that because I'm going to just grab some bolts from my collection. Alright. Got a couple bolts. Some Loctite put on them. And we got to see which way we want the wires. So, right about there somewhere.
This does have blue Loctite on it. We're gonna add some red. This is a Arma gear. So we will be setting this up 3434 for speed runs. I'm actually going a few steps ahead um, just because I know what needs to happen so saving you guys some shortcuts get a little bit of mesh in here rotate the gear make sure that you have that click in every spot sometimes I've noticed some of these armor gears they uh, they're not completely perfectly round so they'll have a high spot in them so we've got all that done so the next thing I'm going to do is get the ESC and everything off of this uh, receiver box because we just don't need it have a little holder in here on these uh, receiver boxes so now I have to take this lid off because I have to take the third break off the third break the hand break and uh, so I gotta pull that off so here's the handbrake. We're going to go ahead and remove that. A part we won't need anymore. And then the next thing is the ESC, which should be the next one in line. And I'm going to check the wires. Black is to the outside. Just like that. All of this is not going to be used again. are going to use this box though so I can leave the lid off for now now I need to cut this box normally uh, when flipping this motor around um, so I am going to trim this box so that uh, we don't have to uh, deal with that Once we get it in there 
So basically you want to trim the box right in front of that screw. Tell I've done this once or twice. Now I'm going to clean up this edge. All right. So all of this we don't need anymore. Normally, if I had just a a Creighton. Um, steering servo mount I would relocate it on the chassis so now that I prep that and we have our gun out I have to prep this so in order to prep this I need the edge so I take this strap I remove it from that edge I am going to put it back on like that so basically I need this edge If it was a coke can motor I'd have to do a lot more cutting now this piece no longer good this is the piece that we need I'll get rid of this little melted burr right here so it's nice and clean we have a nice clean edge now I'm gonna get a little organized now because it's time for the install So, we are going to bring our chassis back in. Get the parts where I need them. So, the first thing we're going to do, get our drive shafts in. Now, I know to face them up and down. That gives me the most flex out of these drive shafts. Once I've done that, now we're going to flip this and we're going to get the motor installed. So we need our five motor mount screws. There's three, I don't need that right now. Three, four, five. So I'm going to put one on here, and then I'm going to line this up. Get one loosely started and get my second one in while I'm holding the motor so the drive shafts don't fall out. relax the hand just so you don't break anything don't try to grab onto the tool if you're gonna do what I do and tighten them down with a with the impact I'm just used to it do it by hand all right so now that I got that motor in I'm going to need to set these two in. So, what I like to do first is put the edge on.
to swap out tools because this is a smaller one. Now remember, these are all the same size. You see how fast this build is going? When you know, you know. Okay, I got those started. Now, this edge is loose. We gotta get, this is why I keep this tray. So now, we're gonna get our tray put in. Our receiver box. Now that we got our receiver box in, we can put our steering back on. Remember, we set it up straight so we can drop that right back on. And then this took the short screw with the big hex. There we go. The steering is correct. Now, it's going to be time for our XLX. Brand new XLX. Well, actually, I don't know if it is brand new. It's got uh, XT90s on it already. So, oh, and these are the big 8mm bullets. So I don't know if I have 8mm bullets, but we'll check. So this should, should have come with some hardware to bolt this up. I don't see any hardware here, so let me find some hardware. Alright, closest thing I can find to it. put on now I'm not a big fan of this brace this is RC Speed Monsters brace reason I'm not a big fan of it is um, the fitment is a little funny little tight on this fitment So I'm going to use a hand tool. Actually, I'm not because this brace is so, uh, so, I, 
it's hard to explain. The, the fitment's not as good as I would expect from the first batch I got. The fitment just seems like it's a little off now. See how I had to force that in? That's what I mean by the fitment being a little off now. And some of them, like the rear of this thing, you literally have to put washers in the side of it. But this is actually really hard up against this motor mount on this one. And that's what I mean by just a little off. Okay, now that I got that brace on, the wheels never have to come off again, so I'm going to tighten them up. Because that's all I needed these wheels loose for, was for that top brace. There we go. Now, XLX time. And... This is going to go... Like this, so that I have the wires in the back and I can face this around to my motor wiring. Face that back. These are going to go through here. This one's in the wrong spot. Now that can relax down. Now we gotta drill a couple of holes. Got that drill let me grab a couple bolts and I should be able to use the two that I took out of holding down the the ESC Right there. And then the next thing I want to do is put the holder back in for the wires.
if I can. This should give it more of a factory look because the holder's in there and it's away from the gear. And two zip ties. scissors I spent more time looking for the bolts than I did building the RC and that's how you do it guys so the next thing I need to do is I need to hook up the fan into the receiver and then So this one that says auxiliary is the one we don't use. The one that says RX is the one that needs to go into channel two with ground facing away. So it's going into channel two. And then before I put that in, I need this one to go into any of the other channels. And that's for the fan. So we are gonna push these wires into the slot. That one goes in the slot, and then the auxiliary we're going to stick in the box as well. And then I'm going to take all these wires, we're going to give them a twist. And we are going to fold them up into the receiver box. Once it's in the receiver box, we're going to grab our lid that I left all the screws into, remembering the shape. place our lid back on. What is going on here? zip tie up here on these small wires so so far three zip ties 
I don't like it got it up with a bunch of zip ties. This is going to stack right here to our double batteries going this way. So all I have left is to solder bullets on. And this is going to go like this. for our three bullets. There's our game changer fan. We are gonna end up popping this off and putting a game changer up there. Over here. Telling you guys, game changer. It's truly changing the game when it comes to uh, these fans. So if you got a 40, a 4070, like he does, this is the way you can do it. If you don't want to glue it to the chassis, now this is going to run across here. I'm going to zip tie this to my other wires. The wires that I already have there. And Game Changer already has all this stuff um, done up. It's all in wrap. It's got the end on it for the balance port for the 4S battery. So one zip tie at the bottom. Then I'm going to do one zip tie at the top. To keep it off the drive shaft, the front drive shaft. And then one more on the other side. Keep it right to the balance port of the bottom battery. Perfect fit right into his balance port. So as you guys can see, this is really, really simple. The whole build was done in whatever the real time is right now and that was looking for hardware so an hour it says 51 minutes on there which i will cut it down but honestly i spent probably a good 10 15 minutes looking for missing hardware so there we go all i have to do is buy some eight millimeter bullets solder that on and uh, we are good to go everything else is trash so there we go guys, take a look, game changer, center fan, mount it to the heat sink. We will be putting a game changer up here, I gotta get uh, some more hardware for that. Wires all routed, factory mount, holding it down to the receiver box. We need some 8mm bullets just to solder that up. And uh, that's it, this thing is ready to rip. So it'll double stack batteries. We'll double stack two 4S's here. We have all of this area for activities. I like to put the Velcro strip down so that we can put the Sky RC analyzer right in here. So tell me what you guys think. Nice and clean build. 
these those batteries will go right to there nice simple and fast install now we'll have to go into this ESC and unlock it but I'll do that after I solder it and I power it up and I show you guys that it works but there we go when you have all the right parts your build is done in less than an hour Game Changer RC with the Goliath literally changing the game Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on my next video